All right, Tim. Well, important new research on the coronavirus. We know many restaurants are struggling to survive with limited capacities and outdoor seating. Well, now a new study by the CDC is raising concerns about the safety of dining out, especially if you're eating indoors. Restaurants hoping to rebound are bringing some customers back inside, but what are the real risks? New research from the CDC looked at hundreds of people with coronavirus symptoms and found those who tested positive were approximately twice as likely to have reported dining at a restaurant in the two weeks before they got sick. Important to note, though, the study did not differentiate between indoor and outdoor dining. Experts say dining indoors is inherently more risky. What we're learning about this virus uh, are the, the factors that you see in a restaurant put you at higher risk. No mask, time indoors, a lot of people, low ventilation. That's when outbreaks occur. When it comes to indoor dining, experts stress airflow is critical since customers can't wear masks while eating and drinking. In many restaurants, you might have an air conditioner that's only recirculating air and no filtration and that will allow a buildup of airborne viral particles. The key is circulating in fresh air from the outside and ensuring that air is not just blowing in one direction, potentially transmitting particles from an infected person to someone at a table downwind. With cold weather soon to limit outdoor dining options, it's still another challenge for restaurants struggling to survive.